So Greg, Amy and I were commissioned by the City of Unley to develop three public artworks for three locations along King William Road. It was very much a collaborative bid for this project. And the trick was to be able to develop artworks for the three individual sites that related to our individual practices, but then also have an element that tied all three of the works together. At the time, I was reading a book called the World Without Us by Alan Weissman, which talks about the world after humans have gone and how resilient nature is and how quickly nature could take back the environment. And that was our inspiration for the overall theme for the works. When we got on site, we all started thinking about the ancient geology of the King William Road site and what lay beneath the ground rather than on the surface. And then we were trying to come up with a way of how we could connect that through the materiality, having some common material that linked all three sites together. And that's where we came up with this idea of using quite an ancient material in each of the three works in the form of black granite that comes from Black Hill. Uh, not far from Manham. And the black granite we've used in each of the works is over 500 million year old material. There's a sense with all three works of sort of moving upwards that you know they may be emerging or in Greg's case yes. sort of being propelled upwards or yeah. yours growing upwards. I think another really interesting approach to this project was by coming up with a, a theme that we could each interpret in our own way and style but using a common materiality, it really, in a way, each work is actually quite individual and reflects our own styles, but they tell a story, they're part of a bigger picture, which um, gives them a really good connection to sight. In terms of art in the public realm and, and what that means to me and perhaps to Craig and Quentin, I think, I mean, I'm very supportive of, of art in all contexts and environments and having you know, opportunities for people to engage with beautiful or interesting or meaningful artwork in unexpected places. So there, there might be sometimes an element of surprise. You could be leaving a hairdresser or having gone to the shops and sort of stumble upon something that might kind of have an impact on your day, even if small, or cause you to reflect and pause. So I think more opportunities for people to experience art not in a gallery is, is a, an exciting thing. And I think we also had to respond to the individual sites, which were not grand public spaces as such. They were much more personal, intimate, intimate, yeah. just off the footpath sites. And so, at least for my work, I felt that having a very up close and personal and tactile work was really important, that people could, could engage with it at that level. Yeah, I was really interested in embracing that idea that you mentioned about the, the thrusting through the earth and you know, emerging from the earth and so I just tried to get as much height in the room as possible and, and I think it kind of worked well in the space given it's, there isn't a big, very big footprint and um, the, the landscape or the skyscape around is you know, reasonably low so there was a good opportunity to you know, thrust Upwards. <laughs> yeah, which I think scale was important with all of the works. They're not small artworks, they've all got, you know, height and yeah. presence on the street. So I certainly think in terms of the success of the project, it was it was a great success in terms of the collaboration between the three of us and being able to bring three individual ideas and practices together under the one um, united idea and these guys were great to work with. So are you, Quentin. Thanks, Greg. <laughs>